Welcome to my channel. I'm Roxiano and today I'll be getting started with a tutorial series, a brand new series, how to use Visual Novel Maker or VN Maker. If you're watching this video, you probably decided that you want to use VN Maker. When I bought it, it was on sale for half off last year. Since we're starting out, I'm going to cover the very first things you'll see on the software. We're starting off very simple. I'm wearing my simple black shirt today. So let's get to it. <laughs> this is your first time opening the end maker. It should look like this, except this whole window would be empty. This is where your projects will go once you create them. So we're gonna start with by going to new project. It's um, is that right underneath my, right underneath my head? And we're gonna name our project. For this sake of this video, we'll just call this sample, just because. Now for the template, you can have no template at all, which is an empty project just to start from scratch. A uh, built-in UI for 720p resolution. Uh, scene-based UI examples down here for two resolutions and then blackjack example. Now starting out if you're new to the software I wouldn't recommend starting out with an empty project just because it can be a little daunting knowing how to get started. You're gonna want scenes to refer to you're really going to want to look at the examples to see exactly how the software works and work from there. So right now we're going to choose the 720p. That's what my other game is in. You can also have 1080p for certain resolutions. This is just the one I chose. And we're going to choose the location. I'm going to choose a different location for mine just because. So to make it all nice and easy, I'll just save it in the folder where I saved the video. And now we have a sample scene for chapter one and the in-game UI already set up. We can preview it right away. And sure, we'll save it just because. English. This is just the base title screen. We're going to click on a new game. The character slides in. We can type in our name. Whatever. <laughs> How old am I? Basically, it goes through a lot of things that you will see in your game. So it definitely showcases that you can type in things and choose different choices. And if you look at the scenes behind it, you'll see the mechanics behind it and it'll make it a lot easier for you to build your choices and your mechanics in your game. So that's why I think the sample scene is important for beginners. So if you want to get started right away, uh, the layout is scenes within chapters. So you can create a, a chapter with multiple scenes in it. So we can create our own very first chapter right here. And this will be the first chapter for our sample game. We will call it Creations 101 with Roxiano Creations. And within this chapter, we'll have a scene, which is called First Day in Class. Because it's your first day in class. Perfect. And if you ever wanted to change the name of your scene or your chapter, you can just right click, go to properties, and then change it in here. I'm actually going to change this to second 
day in class because this video is all about just getting started and creating a project. We will get to this on the second video, dragging and dropping the commands and doing everything specific. I just wanted to show you the basic layout and what you want to do to get started. This is a simple video, says the simple shirt. So if you were to poke around in this project that you just created, you can go up here to the resource manager and you can see that there are a ton of assets that VN Maker has provided for you. Look at all this juicy stuff. That's one thing that's great about VN Maker. It has a lot of assets if you wanted to start out and you didn't feel like creating your own yet. It's just cool that VN Maker has provided you with all of this stuff. But if you're like me and you want to be totally original, I get it. What I would do is I would create a new group, call it pre-existing, and then drag all of these right into that pre-existing folder so that you can create your own characters and not have a bunch of clutter sitting there. In this next tab over here, you see a bunch of things that you implement in your game. The system is the settings of the game itself. You can even change the resolution later if you wanted. You can do a custom one or a predefined this is the script that you would always have access to, even if you choose not to handle the script at all, which is fair. This software is all about not making you do all that tough stuff and instead do drag and drops. It's there if you want it, which is great. This is your extensions, languages that you can import so if you wanted to have different languages in your game, you can go in here and see all of the things that you would need to input. This would be your music and your sounds. So if you go in here, you have your music and your sounds. That's what the game comes with already. And this is your preview. And this is basically the help section. If you wanted to click on this, it'll take you to the VN Maker web page. If you needed help with your project, you can just read through this whole thing. So I hope you like this video and I hope you want to watch the rest of the series because we will definitely dive into a lot more specific stuff. <laughs> so let me know if you have questions about the simple startup of the project or anything along those lines. Thanks for watching and signing off.